Sniper's Hide here at our long range laboratory and we're looking at the new Warner Tool Flatline Projectile. This is a 6.5 variant, 122 grain bullet. We've just taken this bullet successfully from 100 to 1 mile and I have to say it's really impressive. Like we saw with the previous Warner Tool Flatlines we looked at, the 180 and the 160 grain, this 122 grain 6.5 has a BC that rivals your typical 140. I'm using a trial BC of 0.65 and once I get the information and I run it through the computer, I'll be able to fine tune that and I have a feeling it's gonna go up. But the 0.65 going over 3,100 feet per second, today we averaged 31.22. That makes this bullet supersonic to 2,150 yards. Now it just goes to show you the impacts we got at one mile were outstanding. 14.6 mils to a mile. That's super impressive out of a 22 inch 6.5 Creedmoor. Now the load we did have appeared to be a little hot today. We blew a couple primers. I don't know if that was just weak primer pockets or what. We had a couple heavy bolt lifts still you can get similar results without going as hot. 43 grains of Varget gave us 50 more feet per second compared to the 4166 we used. 4166 here is loaded at um, 41.5 grains. Today, again, warmer day out, uh, direct sunlight, it was a little hot. However, the 43 grains of Varget, we had no pressure signs, no issues. And that was just a, a really good load, just not near as accurate. I had to play with seating depth, didn't quite have the time. This load turned out to be more accurate and, and it was consistent. It was 6.5 feet per second for an SD, so I ran with it. Suffered a little bit of the heavy bolt lift today, but with some more time and fine tuning, I think you'll find this bullet to be a fantastic uh, option to take your standard 6.5 Creedmoor or 260 or what have you, 6547, out even farther. The benefit of this being lighter is you can get that higher velocity out of them without a bigger deal. The fact that the BC's over a 140 is just icing on the cake. Now, you don't have to take my word for the BC's. Warner took these bullets and shot them over Doppler. They were given access to some Doppler technology and they found that their BCs were within 2% of advertised. It's also where I found them to be within that 2% of advertised. There is some varying numbers out there. However, the higher numbers tend to be right. And because uh, BCs are velocity dependent, we're finding that when we push them harder like we are, 3,100 feet per second, we're getting a much better BC out of them. If you're pushing them a lot slower, reducing the load, or shooting them at shorter ranges, you're not going to see the advantage. But because we're going farther, we're going a little harder, we're seeing all the advantages and good, solid round hits on steel at a mile. I mean, there's really nothing you can't do beyond 1,000 yards with this out to 2,000. And here's another thing to think about. If we're supersonic to 2,000, everything 1,000 yards and in is going to be just that much better. As an example, 1,250 yards was only 8 mils. 1,000 yards was only 6 mils. 
22 inch 6.5 Creedmoor, six mils to a thousand. That is going to give you an advantage over the next guy who's going to be using eight mils, seven two, and things like that. So again, not a plinker, but it's something to look at. I'm really impressed what Warner Tools doing. You don't need a non-standard twist rate, which you do with a lot of solids. Here you don't. You can mix jacketed bullets in this solid. Normally with the ones with the brass content, you can't mix a solid and a jacketed bullet. With jacketed bullets, we have different variations. The rifling and things can throw the weight off, can throw the projectile off. We talk about uh, inscribing the uh, grooves into the bullet and it having different effects. That's the benefit of going to a solid. You see much more consistent results. Talk about consistent. I had a SD right out of the gate of 6.5 at 3,105 feet per second. These bullets are consistent. It wasn't anything I was doing in my load development. It was the fact that you have a bullet that's so consistent across the board, you're going to get a better SD. That's why people sort brass and do all that other stuff. Meanwhile, Here's me, full length sizing, once fired prime brass, and I'm off to the races without any real drama. So if you're going to compete, if you're looking to get an advantage over the next guy, say you make it to a finale. You want to take that score to the next level, Warner Tool Bullets. That's the way to take your shooting to the next level. If you're just out there doing it for your own enjoyment every day, this might be beyond what you're looking for. But if you're out there and you want to make a statement, here's your bullet. 122 grain, flatline projectile, 6.5 variant. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Hey, Snipers Hide here. If you like these videos and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you'll get the alerts and you'll check out everything that we're doing. But we're happy to have you watch and we appreciate it. So make sure you go down below and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Snipers Hide here.